this is an example on how to calculate probabilities which could be used to build a probability distribution. <laughs> there are multiple choice questions on a test or quiz that each have three possible answers, only one of which of course is correct. Assume you guess the answers to five such questions. So let C denote a correct answer and W denote a wrong answer. <clears throat> Out of the five questions or trials, find the probability that only, if you were to randomly guess now, that only the fifth answer would be correct. Find the probability that the first four would be wrong and the fifth one would be correct. <clears throat> now, these are independent trials. I do have independent trials here because whatever I pick on the first answer does not affect the probability of whatever I pick for the second answer and the third, fourth, and fifth. The probabilities are fixed all across the board here. So I'll find probability the first one's wrong, times probability second one's wrong, times probability third one's wrong, times probability of fourth one's wrong, times probability the fifth one's correct. So remember, for each question, you have three choices to pick from. How many are wrong? How many are correct? Well, there's <clears throat> two ways to get the question wrong, only one way to get it right. So two thirds. Probability of getting the second question wrong? Two thirds. Third question wrong? Two thirds. Fourth question wrong? Two thirds. Fifth question wrong? Or right? Correct. Probability of getting the fifth question correct is one third. So two times two times 2 times 2 is going to give you 16 and then 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 gives you 243 and if I want to give this as an answer to four decimal places it's 0 0.0658 now find a probability of getting one correct answer in any order So there are many ways for this to happen. The correct answer could be the first question. The correct answer could happen on the second question. The correct answer could happen on the third question. Could happen on the fifth question. Or it could even happen on the fourth question. Regardless, there's five different ways that you can get exactly one correct answer. So what you do is you take the probability from part A, which was one of the probabilities of getting a correct answer, the one where you got the correct answer in the fifth position, and you multiply it by five. I'm gonna multiply the fraction by five because that gives me a more accurate answer. So five times 16 over 243 is 0 0.3292. That's the probability of getting one correct answer in any order. Now we can actually use this information or this example to find the values for a binomial probability experiment using the binomial formula. And you will learn more about that as well in the near future. <clears throat>